Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Leo in mid-month June. Hello, Leo. How are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing well. All right, friends. Welcome to mid-June. How are you feeling? How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I hope you're happy. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, still a pandemic outside of, of most of our walls, of most of our homes and, 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 and safe spaces. So please take all precautions as you're going out in, in the world, socializing, grabbing groceries, you know, running errands, doing what you have to do. <gasps> My card is bent. Oh, no. I hate bent cards. And it's a little frayed. This deck will have to be replaced. Anyway. <laughs> That was a little bit of my, my, my Leo vanity coming out, huh? Uh, anyway, um, guys, so hopefully uh, you're doing well in the middle of still, you know, a very uh, serious pandemic, uh, still a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, issues here in the States uh, surrounding that. Uh, but again, I hope you're happy. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy, healthy and, and same to you and your friends, your family and your loved ones. OK, uh, I'm also going to uh, before we get into the other general announcements, I'm going to go on the record here, Leo, for for this mid-June season. I've been compelled and encouraged to uh, share openly uh, that uh, there's a lot of civil unrest going on here in the States as well as across the globe. Uh, a lot of issues surrounding social injustice and racial inequalities and injustice and I want to, uh, you know, just publicly state that I am someone who does support the Black Lives Matter movement um, because I am someone who is interested and very much in support of uh, total equality, total equity amongst people, regardless of race, gender, creed, anything like that. OK, um, at the core, this 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 movement is going to affect all of us. If you look at the astrological patterns of what's going on and I'm not an astrologer, I'm just like uh, someone who generally like keeps a little bit of knowledge about what's going on. You know, this is the time we're, we're going through a massive social and, and spiritual evolution on this planet in, in, in this uh, collective energy. And part of that is tied to this movement. Um, I recognize that you don't have to recognize that you don't even have to agree with that. And that's totally fine. But my 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 purpose in stating this publicly is to one, show you that the person that you're dealing with, because this is a business to me, right? Uh, this is what this person believes. And it's not to say you have to agree with me in order to do business with me. You don't. You don't have to agree with me or, or like what I've just said. You don't. Um, but I, I am somebody who purports and supports and tries to create spaces for authenticity and transparency and autonomy right and so I would be sort of a hypocrite or at least someone who didn't walk that walk even though I talk that talk so that's my interest in saying that publicly now again you don't have to agree you, you can agree and and not like me you can disagree and not like me I'm, I'm really not by bothered either way but I'm also someone who lives a real life experience and so um, I think it's important, even though this is a very small platform, for me to go ahead and, and express that outright. You know what I mean? So uh, just in the effort of being authentic and transparent with people, I just want to share that outright. And because it, it's, it's, it's a viable message. It's a viable message that all people should be treated equally. Is it not? So we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> um, you know, and I, and I just say it just to, just to share it and express it, okay? Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Leo, what you're going to see here today is a general reading, but I am doing it in the style that I do my personal readings. Uh, take everything with a grain of salt. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, it is, like I said, still a very general reading, but the style in which you're going to see is personal. So, you know, I, I, do, I just want to make that clear with people um, <laughs> because some people are like, well, when I get a reading from you, is it going to be like this and that? And I'm like, it's going to be like this. <laughs> so <laughs> just to just to draw a distinction there um anyway anything that you want leo is already in the description box so if you want the timestamp, that's already down there uh if you want to get a personal reading with me that information is down in the description box as well if you have a question before you place an order just go ahead and email me at the same address i will answer you as soon as i can and the link to my instagram is also down in the description box if you want to follow me over there i am pulling oracle cards interpreting them intuitively a few times throughout the week so if you're interested in that and maybe eventually doing some pick a card stuff over there just drop me a follow on instagram okay Okay. All right, Leo, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for you. I want to see messages, energies, and insights for Leo in mid-June, please. Energies, messages, and insights for Leo in mid-June, please show me. Three. I think this is going to be a 
a three bridge. Let's see if I'm right. Felt like a three. Let's see. Damn, I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at knowing what they want. That's good. They wanted three bridges, and that's what they got. Okay. Poor Leo, please, in mid June. Hmm. Leo, mid June, please show me. Page of Wands. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Two or three, please. Three. Thank you. Something about threes today for you, huh, Leo? Something special about threes? Are some of you born on the third? August third, maybe? Happy birthday to those August third, uh, Leos. Oh, I cut my nails and now I can't pick anything up. Okay. So Page of Wands and then the Page of Pentacles. Okay. And then the Two of Pentacles. All right. So some of y'all are dealing with children. Children. <laughs> page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, hmm. Some of you are making decisions about children or children are at the focal point of some decision in your life. Uh, page of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This doesn't have to be a child, and they don't have to be a fire sign, but and they don't have to be a male, because this is a little boy, right? Um, but this is young, spunky energy. This is energy that's very vibrant and energetic, um, excitable, uh, lots of lots of energy to spare in this in this person. Whether they're a child or not, it could be you, it could be someone else in this situation. I'm not exactly sure just yet. But rambunctious very <laughs> like bouncing off the walls energy and lots of passion okay there there's there's like the the meat and potatoes of it this this energy is passionate whatever this person does whoever they are in your life leo you or someone else whatever they do they do it with full on passion and they're very excited to do it they're very enthusiastic about what they're doing um they could be mischievous or they could um, uh <clears throat> pardon me all pages have a tendency to be naive or immature because they're so young in terms of the court cards page knight queen king right so this is the youngest out of all the court cards meaning they're naive they're 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 less experienced meaning they're immature not immature like mm, nanny nanny boo boo to, you know teasing immature immature is in they don't have the experience that other people have or they don't have the outlook the the possibly jaded or 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 informed outlook that other people have this person or or pages tend to see the world as a as as a big bowl of opportunity like the the what is that what's that cliche for it? the world is your oyster like pages live in that energy the world is your oyster there's endless possibilities there's endless opportunities out there and i feel that this page of wands is that type of person if we're talking about someone who's of age who is an adult if we're talking about a child then we're talking about someone, a child, you know, 18 or younger, you know, they could be 15 and still be in this energy. Um, but someone who's like, you know, <laughs> a little rascal. <laughs> like, I feel this person is like mischievous, but in a playful way. Like, this isn't someone who like does messed up things to do messed up things they just do things like they might be a prankster is kind of what this feels like like they, they they joke a lot or they play games and again if this is a kid if this is an adult that would probably be less you know cute or less uh acceptable but if it's a kid they like to have fun they play pranks on people um they might be very creative they might be like i'm getting like a kid who like would build a fort and like they or they like, you know, take on the role of like an army soldier and they like storm a castle and do all this other kind of stuff. This is a very imaginative child, right? Still applies to an adult, but in the adult, it might be a little off putting because, again, when you're of age, you're expected to be more mature. And when someone as an adult shows up in page energy, it's kind of like, wah, wah. <laughs> it's like, uh, why are you acting that way? Why do you behave these ways? Why do you look at you know that might be a question why do you look at life like that that could be okay that could be interesting some uh, if this is an adult if this person is like really optimistic if this person is really enthusiastic if this person is super like you know 
eyes wide open, it's kind of like off-putting to other people. Because I also get that this Page of Wands is generally happy. I get that this person is generally content to be who they are. They're proud of who they are. They they do not feel ashamed or embarrassed for the most part. Or mm, not even shame or embarrassment. Let me take that back. <clears throat> They like themselves. <laughs> Whoever this is, they like themselves. They like who they are. And so if this is an adult, it's kind of like you would say to this person, oh, you play too much. And this person's like, you don't play enough. <laughs> like their their rebuttal or their return to you is, well, you don't play enough. Or, or why are we taking, you know, just because we're adults, why do we have to take X, Y, Z so seriously? Why is this so, you know, this person doesn't like not that they don't like rules, but they certainly, the rules sometimes are meant to be broken or bent under this person's, under this person's uh, belief system. It's very interesting. I like them in general, but I can understand, especially if they're an adult, it's like, Jesus, when are you going to grow up? And that could be something that someone is saying to you or you're saying to someone else. I don't know who this is just yet. You do have at least two people of significance here. So this first page is very rambunctious, very adventurous, very, you know, excitable and, 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 you know, encourageable. Like it would be hard to get, that's the other thing. This person is like hard to deter. <laughs> this person is hard to deter. Like they are convinced that they can do whatever they want or, or they can mm, maybe not do whatever they want. Let me see. How can I phrase that differently? Cause it's not, I can do whatever I want is I'm not going to be, <laughs> yeah, like they're not, they don't believe they're incapable of doing whatever they put their mind to. They are in some, you know, fire energy, you know, it's a page of wands. They're pretty egotistical. They don't have to be a fire sign, but they are pretty egotistical. I think I can do whatever I put my mind to. And that's great, right? Like, isn't that something that we want people to believe? Just, that's just a totally objective question especially if we're talking about a child isn't that kind of what you want your kids to believe they can do whatever they want or or be what they want or you know meet any any adverse situation and triumph over over a challenge like that's kind of what this person's attitude is they see a challenge and like bet i got it i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna meet that challenge head on it's very i like that but i i know it can come off a little egotistical or arrogant or you know <laughs> just Leo, I'm getting the sense that somebody sees this person. It's you or it's someone else. And you're just like, shut up. Like, just calm down. Like, why are you always, like, on? Like, how are you? Ah, that could also, see, that's that's another thing that's going on here. This person has such optimism and enthusiasm that someone else is like, <laughs> like, they don't get it. Like, how can you be so happy all the time? How can you be so excited? How do you, where, where does this energy come from? Who are you? It's like questioning how this person is possibly questioning if that's authentic maybe hmm okay so that's that's who that is you know who that is it's you or someone else or whatever then you got the page of pentacles next door oh next door are these neighbors are these neighborhood kids are these little like neighborhood best friends uh page of pentacles earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn this person doesn't have to be an earth sign uh but you know, that's the energy that they're showing up in. And again, it can be a child. It doesn't have to be, but it can be. If it is, similar energy, because again, the pages in general, because of their youthful energy, whether they are a young person or whether they're an adult with, with youthful energy, they are enthusiastic, all the pages. They're, they're very, like, excited about the possibilities. However, the Page of Pentacles is not bouncing off the walls, is not um, high energy or, or, or a, you know, a go, go, go kind of uh, person. This person is slower, they're calmer, they're more quiet and demure, and they, I feel like this person can be just as imaginative as the Page of Wands, but doesn't perform that. Like, if you look at these two little boys, right, <clears throat> you see the Page of Wands is, is pretending to be a cowboy, right, with his little mop and his little toy gun, right? And you see the Page of Pentacles is being a little little hellion, you know, ripping these, these pentacles off the, the shelf. But in terms of imagination, like, they both look bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and all that stuff. So I get, like, the Page of Wands, like how I said, would, like, build a fort, pretend that they're storming a castle, play, you know, with, you know, 
you know how kids play like oh i'm i'm captain starfleet or whatever and i'm i'm here to take you to intergalactic ga jail or something whatever the page of pentacles wouldn't perform that the page of pentacles would just imagine it or would find their imagination stimulated in a story in a book in a movie right and i think that this person the page of wands has an external expression of their imagination imagination more easily and the page of pentacles is less likely to perform that is less likely to exhibit that behavior right so <clears throat> and if these two are like siblings or friends or neighbors or whatever as children this is the one who like creates the whole world and is the leader of whatever imaginative thing they've they've thought up. This is like the deputy. Like if this is like the sheriff, this is the deputy. And that's their dynamic. If these are your children, Leo, I think you kind of recognize this. If these are people in your life, you kind of recognize this. This is the leader. This is the second in command, if not third in command. Like this person doesn't want to be in the limelight. This person doesn't want to be... Um, it's just not even doesn't want to be. It's just not in their character to be out in center and the focal point of other people. Or there, there's something, there's a shyness there with this Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Now, if, the, if we're talking about adults, it kind of applies. If these are friends, if these are business partners, I'm not sensing like a love connection or it could be because they're matching in energy. Oh, if if it is, they, this would be like a new love connection, right? This would be, because it's Paige, so it's new, it's fresh, it's young, right? Um, oh, and in some cases, this would be like a return to, a, revi a, a, a retry? Okay, a retry, right? And I get the sense that one leads the other. In, in whatever scenario this is, whatever, whoever these two people are to each other, relatives, friends, you know, business partners, you know, dating partners, whatever. One leads the other. The Page of Pentacles is more likely to follow the lead of the Page of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles likes it that way. Like, again, the Page of Wands knows who's, who's, who they are. They're very sure of themselves. Like, I'm this type of person. I am. And they, they could fill out those statements so easily. I am a leader. I am a this. I am creative. I am blah, 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 blah. Right? The Page of Pentacles would do it too, but it's less authoritative or it's less of, of being someone who's in the limelight, in the, in the middle of the action. I am an observer. This, is, this person is a doer. I, I take action. This person is like, I'm watching from afar. You know? <laughs> you know? So the dynamic between the two works in the sense that I think they, in that they match energetically. If they're children, you know, brother and sister, 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 brother, brother, whatever, they're, I feel that their relationship, if it's not close, they, again, they, re they relate well off of each other. It feels kind of complementary, which is interesting, fire and earth. I don't know that fire and earth is 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 as complementary as say fire and air, but fire and earth can be can work together sometimes, and maybe that's the, the surprising aspect of this relationship is that it works. Interesting. Uh, Page of Pentacles in terms of adult could also be just all the more responsible. You know, pentacles are about the things that sustain us, that, that serve to our stability and our foundations in life. And the page might be new to it, might not be as experienced, might not be as established as, say, a queen or a king. Clearly, they could not be. But their mindset is more focused on that, more focused on the bottom line, more focused on the, the, the foundation of, of their life or this dynamic, right? So this person is practical and this person is a little bit off the, off the cuff, a little bit, you know, flying by the seat of their pants, yeah? So that could be mm, a concern, right? Oh, I'm, we have the two of pentacles, right? So then, yeah, okay, what's this? <sighs> This could be you. I mean, if you look at the artwork, Leo, this could be you. You could be a distressed parent, uh, male or female. You know, just because there's a woman here doesn't mean it only applies to women. But this could be you dealing with your with with your children. It doesn't have to be exactly two children. You could have 16 children. It doesn't matter. But, you know, having to keep everything in line, having to 
make sure that the home is taken care of, your kids are taken care of, little Fido is taken care of. And there's this up in the air feeling here. So if you're a parent, you might feel as as has been the way for many parents right now, Leo, you know, kids have been home since what, March in, in many places, not going to school, you know, <laughs> summer summer camp is, I'm assuming, not going down for many people. So you've had your children with you 24-7 for like three, maybe two and a half months, something like that. And you might be kind of like, I don't know what to do. Like this woman's hand, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you know, you might feel really confused or really um, unsure of what to do to make sure your kids are getting what they need in terms of education, in terms of stimulation and exercise and socialization. And it's just been real, like a real hard time balancing that plus working Plus making sure that, you know, if you're if you lost your job, how are you going to get money in the door? You know, there's a lot of things going on for many parents. Right. And I'm not a parent. So, you know, I don't have this experience firsthand. But what I'm observing is a lot of people are like, mm, it's kind of tough out here, Jay. And I'm like, God bless you, man. <laughs> you know, and so I'm feeling like if this is revolving around children, you're having to make decisions regarding their future and you might be more than uncertain <laughs> they're like more than uncertain like you're absolutely confused and bogged down by trying to make them happy trying to make sure they're healthy and taken care of but then also you know making contingencies for the future if there's a certain turning point here in your life involving you know, what's going to happen with your job what's going to happen with the house that you live in what's going to happen in some of your cases Maybe. Let me see. Okay. In some of your cases, you are like a single parent and you need to find a balance between yourself and the kids and the other partner, the, the, the other parent in the situation and finding a balance between all three of those things. And it's ridiculously hard to do, or at least it's overwhelming to do because this two of pentacles feels very stuck. It doesn't feel like it's actually leading to anything. It feels like you or someone else is just constantly in their head about what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What's the best solution? What's the best solution? And that's been thematic for most of the readings or at least a good portion of the readings I've done for this mid uh, month series where people are like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Or the options are too many or the options are not enough. And it's just like being in a you know, rock, being caught between a rock and a hard place in some of your cases, okay? Um, it also could be financial. I'm like, I'm feeling that a little bit because it's a low, it's two, right? It's a low ranking pentacles. So in some of your cases, like I said, this could be because of, you know, needing to put food on the table or maybe your children uh, go to like a private school, but that's, you know, in, in issues with tuition, whatever. There's, there is possible concern over money or tangible resources material resources yeah all right so let's actually i want to clarify that a little bit why is the two of pentacles here because that that can go so many ways so i want one on the two of pentacles please why is the two of pentacles here for leo why is the two of pentacles here for leo please show me Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Leo? Please show me. Okay. And I got one. I don't normally get one when I ask. <laughs> Come on, Ace of Pentacles. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So definitely something to do with resources, something to do with material resources, money, your home, your your career, wherever your stability is or whatever is crucial to your stability. There's a focal point on securing something or having something anew, having something that is, mm, I don't want to say a sure thing, but you might be thinking of it as a sure thing, Leo, with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, aces are only opportunities and chances. They're not guarantees. And 
excuse me, if they come in the form of a person, an event, an opportunity, it's up for you to interact with it to make it into something. It's not just gifted to you. It's not just handed to you and says, here you go, Leo, go to town. Here's the answer to all your problems. No, you actually have to work with that. And so this two of pentacles, I feel you're like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And you're kind of wishing or hoping for a miracle basically, or something to come into your life, uh, an offer, an opportunity, an event, a person, if not just cash in hand, like you're, some of you might be scratching, you know, buying lottery tickets to try and gain a little bit of money, or you're waiting for some type of, uh, Like you might be waiting to hear back about a job if you've been in between jobs or if you lost your job in this economic downturn. You might be waiting to hear back from an employer. And once you get that bit of information, again, the opportunity, the event, the, the meeting, whatever it is that you're wanting, it is the answer to what you want. So this two of pentacles is being sort of in the in between, in the in the meantime, right? In the meantime, what are you doing or, or, or what's going on? Mm. That's where you are. You're in the meantime. You're in this transitionary period or you're in this in this period of fluctuation. That's what that feels like, okay? So that's what that Two of Pentacles is. Being in fluctuation and having, again, either you and someone else, because again, Leo, you could be either of these pages uh, if they're not your own children or people that are that are in your energy, that, that depend on you or that you're connected with. You could be one of those people. And... Regardless of whether you're a part of that or those are your kids or some other people that you know, it's like, I think the excitability of the pages or, or the enthusiasm of the pages is kind of helpful. I think it keeps spirits up, you know, Leo likes that. Leo likes for their spirit to be up. I mean, who doesn't? But Leo like kind of needs inspiration in order to be their best selves. And I feel that even if you're in the middle of a crunch, Leo, if you're inspired, if you feel impassioned, if, if, if you feel motivated, you're going to see yourself through this. So that's that's sort of like the saving grace in the situation is that you or the people around you are exhibiting some type of uh, exuberant energy and you're 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 enthusiastic about the potentials. And that is enough to kind of keep you thriving, so to speak. Okay? All right, let's get some more information for Leo regarding the situation, please. Further information for Leo regarding the situation, please show me. Oh my God, so many pentacles. Knight of pentacles, interesting. Knight of pentacles. Further information for Leo, please at this time further information for leo regarding the situation and the fool perfect there you go so i feel like this is like kind of what you're aiming towards or what is gonna happen you know if the stars align so to speak right knight of pentacles again earth sign energy uh virgo taurus or capricorn you don't have to be dealing with an earth sign but that energy is all over the place so you've got four out of six right Four out of six that are pentacles focused. So money, stability, finances, you know, the bottom line, the foundation of your life is, is, is very much at the core of this message today, Leo. And with the Knight of Pentacles, what we see is a graduated. I mean, it could be, oh, graduated. A lot of people have graduated, right? So again, for those who have children, maybe your child has graduated. And that has sort of been on your mind or maybe you have a kid. I think I said this maybe in your June message. Um, and if it wasn't you, I said it for someone else. But there there was this emphasis on being concerned about your child graduating from high school uh, to college or college to the real world, so to speak. And that being this this up in the air feeling, you know, because if your kid is slated to, to, to go to college in the fall, it's kind of like, well, how's that going to look? You know, my kid is supposed to move across state lines to go to college and, you know, they can't live in the dorms or, you know, how's that going to work? And what about the classes? And we're paying, you know, 40, 50 grand, you know, taking out a freaking 
<laughs> loan with the government to send my kid to, to school or whatever or you know whatever it's just, it's so many things to be concerned about and so you see this page graduating up into the status of a knight so knights move they literally move right um in traditional tarot they normally are on horseback so they move much faster or they move in more significant ways than the pages the pages are always on foot so they're not really going too too far so knights move across great distances so either you or someone else is is, is concerned about making physical moves because this is pentacles physical moves in their life um and it is tied still to money either having enough or not having enough or investing wisely with money and resources right so you have your kid or maybe you yourself have submitted to be you know go to a certain university again across state lines or within the state wherever and now that it seems that this pandemic might still be in effect or 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 uh, something to contend with, you might be thinking, OK, so maybe we shouldn't go. You know, it's kind of like a is this still the best in, uh, investment for the future? Is this still the right course to take? Right. The right path to go down. Knight of Pentacles would be evaluating that at all stops at all times. The Knight of Pentacles isn't the most nimble of, of knights. It's not the most um, changeable, but it is the most studied or it is the one that studies the most, considers the most, analyzes the most, right? So you might be looking for alternatives in terms of how to get what you want or where you're going and what the bigger picture is, yeah? Um If it's not to do with children, because again, I feel for some of you, that's like the interest is your child or some person of significance in your life. Where are they going to go? What path are they going to take? What opportunities are going to be available to them? And you're, you know, a concerned mama or papa bird or whatever it is, like looking out for your kid. If, if it's not about your children, you would be in this energy somewhat and you're interested in where am I going? What path am I going to take? Is it going to be beneficial to me? You know, and that that's natural. Now, what I feel is that you have sort of a traditional vibe coming from this Knight of Pentacles where what they are able to propose or what they see as an opportunity or a chance is kind of traditional, right? So in the case of the thing with college, right? Instead of going to the university that's over a couple of states, this person might say, okay, I'll just like take classes at the local university, right? And next to it, you have this full energy. Like that's a practical solution. It's like predictable. Okay, I can't go to school over here. It's too expensive. It's unsure. So... Um, you know, whatever way you're trying to untangle yourself from being admitted to that university, maybe you want to go to like a local college, like a junior college for like a year or something like that. That is a traditional, predictable solution. Next to it is this Fool card. The Fool is anything but traditional. This is uh, secondary major arcana for Aquarius, okay? And Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Uranus and Aquarius together equal not traditional, not at all predictable absolutely not what you expect and so there is this embracing or rather a letting go of what is expected what is meant to be uh, or, or what is often seen as the practical way to, to to go about a certain action or go about you know uh, making certain decisions right so I feel as though what you want or what might be more helpful Leo is to think outside the box okay so maybe instead of you or your child or whoever going immediately to college at this time, again, in the middle of an, a huge economic downturn here in the States, a huge pandemic, which is, you know, theorized to still be going on come fall 2020, maybe the best thing is to take a year off. That's not exclusively outside the box, but in terms of, you know, trajectory, we normally assume that a person graduates from uh, high school and they immediately go to college. That's not always the case. Everybody knows that. Or maybe instead of going uh, to college, maybe they take virtual lessons for like college credits. Maybe that's offered somewhere and maybe the credits could be transferred. There's just like 
more research because the Knight of Pentacles is still researching, still analyzing. So you might st uh, be interested in analyzing atypical solutions to your problem. Oh. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I was like, where's this coming from? I did mention a story where some of you might be single parents, right? And you're trying to negotiate something or you're trying to figure out something with raising the kids a certain way or, 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 or maintaining something for the kids in a negotiation or some type of balance, going back to the two of pentacles, with the other parent, right? So AKA co-parenting, right? Um, in some of your cases, you're going to be co-parenting in a very atypical way. I don't know what that means, but that's what they're, they're like, parent, 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 co-parent, parent, parent, co-parent. I'm like, what? <laughs> so going back to that story for just a few of you, obviously it's not for everybody, but if you're a single parent or if you're in some type of flux in a relationship with the other parent, you're going to find an off the cuff solution because the Knight of Pentacles wants solutions, but the fool, like I told you, is not traditional. It's not predictable. It's something that is unprecedented, basically. Um, and so the solution to your problems, regardless of what they are, Leo, is unprecedented. It's possibly not even conceived of as of yet. And it might surprise you. That's the other thing about the fool. It can be surprising or mm, unexpected. Same difference, surprising, unexpected. Um, also could be like a neutral reset on something. Because the Fool is the zero in, in, in tarot, as you can see at the bottom of this deck, the zero card. So it's like really starting over from nowhere or, or starting off, starting over from a clean slate. So a hard reset on something, maybe. It's interesting. Um, Leo, I don't, and, and notice again, this is pentacles. This is not happening tomorrow, Okay. <laughs> whatever's developing here for the most part is not going to develop overnight this is like months down the line that you're going to see like i keep feeling i mean like i've mentioned with children and school fall winter is probably going to be um a very interesting time for leos um like that's what that feels like because pentacles do not it's not an energy that happens like that the fastest energy on the board is the page of wands maybe the fool too but these two they're kind of outnumbered i mean literally they're outnumbered by all the pentacles here so you or someone else might have a desire to get things going pretty quickly to make decisions very quickly to be assured and step off it. and and that's the thing the page of wands would probably be best aligned with the fool energy like taking risks like walking like look at this woman she's like walking off the roof of a house for god's sakes and her, the concepts of her purse are just flying behind her. And she's wearing, like, rubber gloves. Like, what the hell is wrong with this person? <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. But it's, like, it's haphazard. Like, there's a, ca like, throw caution to the wind with the fool. And the page is like, yeah, throw caution to the wind. Like, these two energies, if it's not the same person, these two energies or these two people would, would, would complement each other. And all of this is sort of like, again, I, I, I am hard-pressed to see how fire and earth complement each other regularly i really i would be really hard pressed if anybody can give me an example i would love to see it um so this might be a little bit of a friction point but ultimately leo i think eventually these pentacles will give way to this unbridled uh, off the cuff energy that the fool is presenting. The fool could be a person. It could be an opportunity. Because I feel it's also tied to the Ace of Pentacles, right? So I'm going to leave it at that. Let's get you an Oracle card, shall we? Let's see an Oracle message for Leo. Which deck, please? Which deck? Okay, Divine Circus Oracle for you, Leo. Oh, I'm so hungry. I need to have lunch. Every time I do videos, I'm like always hungry. Jeez. <laughs> Oracle message for Leo, please. 
Oracle message for Leo at this time. Oracle message for Leo at this time, please. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. One oracle card for Leo, please show me. Okay. Let's see what it was. Supernova. Eight. Hey. I say hey because, you know, obviously August is the eighth month, so I like I like the number eight. I was born in August, so Supernova. Eight. Alright guys, let's see. <clears throat> A rocket is capable of traveling far and with great power and speed before settling into an effortless orbit far beyond the world in which it began its journey. To launch, however, requires power. A quiet and contained power is not appropriate for the task. A raw and explosive force is needed to propel the rocket from the known world of Earth towards its destined orbit in space. The Oracle of Supernova indicates a time of rapid growth so accelerated of rapid growth so accelerated and powerful that it can feel like an explosion, as if there were as if you were the rocket being launched into space. It tends to be of high intensity but short duration. Whilst this is a positive thing, it can cause shock waves and disrupting patterns and create feelings of instability and even uncertainty as your world starts to change in ways you don't feel are within your personal control. You may feel that there is a powerful momentum moving out moving you out of what you your life has been towards some new unknown destiny as it moves from the dramatic force of the launch towards the eventual piece of the effort of an effortless orbit the rocket will jettison the very thing needed to get the journey started this isn't about disposing of the essentials the people and things that really mean something to your heart but rather letting go of old attitudes ideas ways of being and attachments to allow for utter freedom to ascend after the intensity of the birth the effortlessness of your orbit into a new world will re will require a new attitude or excuse me a different attitude all right there's still more in that uh passage that i could read but i like to not read the full ones because sake of time but that kind of makes sense to me um, again, it kind of strikes in the antithesis of what I was saying about how this is slowly developing. If, based on that Oracle card, if I were to guess, Leo, if you were to be a subjective part in your reading, you're probably the Page of Wands or the Fool card. And you're dealing with or surrounded by other people and energies and, and, and circumstances that represent this Pentacles energy, which, again, Pentacles is slow to develop. It's very traditional. It's very much like the like the oracle card was saying what you're used to old attitudes and ideas that's not you know no no shade to pentacles or earth signs or anything like that but they're not known to be you know the pioneers of much <laughs> no offense again they're not that energy just is not interested in change overnight so you might have a natural inclination to thrust off and take off like a rocket but the people around you or the situations around you are kind of holding you back and that's not in a bad way I don't feel that you're being leashed I don't feel as though you're being prevented I just think that circumstantially in terms of time now to you know <laughs> kind of because uh, that happened uh, a few weeks ago right SpaceX right Elon Musk like he his company was launching their little commercial rocket and the launch got delayed because the weather wouldn't allow. So this feels like the weather, the, the atmosphere, the circumstances of where you might want to go or where this Page of Wands Fool card might want to go is not permissible at this moment. So give it time. Be patient, I guess. Yeah. 
I'm going to leave it at that because I'm not, I'm, you know, I could I could sit here and preach for 10 hours, but I'm not going to do that. Um, Leo, that is your reading for mid-June. Uh, if you liked it, the like button is down below. Go ahead and hit that for me. If you want to leave a comment, let me know how this resonated in your life. I'd be more than happy to read that, and, and, and it really gives me affirmation as a reader. So if you want to do that, that would be super, super cool. Uh, feel free to share the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Uh, I will be back soon, Leo, doing the July messages. And again, I'm still going to go live before the month of June is up. So again, if you're not subscribed, I would consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you can see when I actually do that, all right? All right, Leo, I appreciate you guys so much for watching this video. I really do, really do appreciate it. Take care.